Okay, so we're going to talk about quantifying light. So the color red has wavelengths ranging from 625 nanometers to 740 nanometers. What is the average wavelength in meters? Every one meter is equal to 10 to the ninth power of nanometers. So we have the first wavelength in this range and the final. So if we're going to be calculating our average wavelength, we can do that by adding together all of the wavelengths we have and dividing by the number of wavelengths we have. So our lower range is 625 nanometers plus the upper range, which is 740 nanometers. And then we'll divide that by two. So adding that together gives us 1,365 nanometers over two which means on average, red has an average wavelength of 682.50 nanometers. However, this problem wants the wavelength in meters. So we just do a units conversion. So we're going from nanometers to meters. Every one meter is equal to 10 to the ninth power of nanometers. So if we were to plug this into a calculator, it would give us 682.50 nanometers divided by our 10 to the uh, ninth power, which would have it with 682.50 times 10 to the negative ninth would be another way of writing that. This is actually my preferred way. Um, but if you were just to plug in a calculator, it would also spit out 6.825 times 10 to the negative seventh power meters, which would be another acceptable way of putting this. Uh, I do prefer the top way just because going from the wavelength of light, it's going to range from like 350 to 800 nanometers. So it's just an easier conversion if you just take the number already in hundreds and then do times 10 to the negative ninth power of meters. Mathematically, they're equivalent. Um, and I would accept either way, but you'll just typically see me going with the top way of leaving it as an imperfect scientific notation method. Um, so question two here, what is the speed of light? The speed of every uh, electromagnetic wave in a vacuum uh, is the same. We represent it with the letter C and it is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth power meters per second. Now that speed changes um, depending on well, there are particles present, but for the most part, for our calculations, we're just going to leave it and make that assumption that it's just 3 times 10 to the 8th power meters per second. Now, finally, for question 3, what is the wavelength, uh, the frequency of red light? Um, so, we have been using this equation. Wave speed is equal to wavelength times wave frequency. Um, when we're talking about EM waves, we can also write it as our constant speed of light is equal to wavelength times wave frequency. If we want to get the frequency, what we're solving for by itself, we would just divide both sides by the wavelength, canceling out wavelength here. So that way we can end up writing this as our frequency is equal to our speed of light divided by our wavelength. The speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth power meters per second. And our wavelength that we calculated in problem one was 682.50 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. Setting up this way, our meters end up canceling out, leaving us just with our units of one over seconds. Now, this is where it might be very important to be careful plugging this number into your calculator. If your calculator does not have the feature of writing it just like a fraction so you can see clearly what's a numerator and what's the denominator, I would strongly recommend using parentheses over everything that's supposed to be your numerator and then the division symbol and then parentheses around everything that's supposed to be the denominator. Just so that way the calculator knows exactly what you mean and it's going to follow the order of operations exactly solving anything in parentheses before it divides that numerator by the denominator. So when we plug this into our calculator, the 3 times 10 to the 8th power as the numerator divided by 
the 682.5 times 10 to the negative ninth as the denominator, uh, we would get a well long string of numbers, which I'm just going to round to 4.40 times 10 to the positive 14th. And then the units are 1 over seconds, which we can also write as 4.40 times 10 to the positive 14th hertz.